Good morning Stampers and Crafters. Thank you for joining me today. It's Maria here with you. Today is the start of the Fall Coffee Lovers Blog Hop and Cat Scrappiness is participating in this hop. So I'm going to make a coffee theme card using items from the Cat Scrappiness store. Also there is a discount code specially for the Fall Coffee Lovers Blog Hop which is Coffee Hop for 15% off your order at Cat Scrappiness. I will put all of the information in the description box below so please use that code for 15% off your order. So I'm going to be using these fancy scallop edge dies. I'm going to be using this stamp set. It's a really cute image here and I'm going to be using my stamp platform. I'm going to be using my Nina Solar White cardstock and also I'm going to show you how I'm going to cut this since I don't have the coordinating dies. I am going to use my scan and cut. So let's get started with a video tutorial. So I'm going to start by using my Tim Holtz stamping platform here and I just flipped the lid because this is a rubber stamp. I'm going to stamp that image twice because I just want a backup in case I mess up on the first one. So I'm using my Memento Tuxedo Black Ink to stamp this image because I'm going to use my Copic markers to color the images in. So this is just going to be some simple Copic coloring, not a lot of shading here. I just wanted a little bit of color on the coffee cup. And then I'm going to use my green Copic markers and then some blue and then some warm gray for my little mouse. So now I have my images on my brother's skin and cut mat and this mat is not very sticky anymore so as you can see here I'm just using some post-it tape to help me keep the mat from shifting. And now I apologize that this is actually very shaky. I didn't realize it's actually hard to film and do the instruction at the same time. So next time I use my scan and cut, I'm just going to put it on a tripod so you guys can see what I'm doing. But I'm just using it to scan the images right now. And then I am going to kind of close it in on the frame here and you will see what I'm doing in a second. There you go. And then I will click OK and then the machine will start recognizing the images that it just scanned. And then I am going to put just a little bit of a white border on my images. And then I just clicked OK and then I'm going to click Cut and then Start to start cutting the images here and I really apologize that this video is very shaky I didn't realize this at the time but if you guys would like to see more of this process video using the scan and cut please leave me a comment down below and I will do another video for you so this is what it looks like when it cuts the image as you can see it cuts perfectly it has this small white border around the edges and I really love it because it will save you so much money on buying dies in the future so I'm using the fancy scallop die here to die cut the edge on my cardstock and then I'm going to do the same on the other side to create this nice edge on the card front And now I'm going to use my Distress Oxide inks. This is one of my favorite combination, which is the Worn Lipstick and the Fossilized Amber. I'm using my inexpensive makeup brushes here that I use for this purpose just to add a little bit of color. Sometimes it's really nice to use the brushes instead of the sponge. And I'm going to mix both colors and then spray it with water and then dab it with a paper towel after to get that perfect Distress look. So now I'm just showing you guys here this amazing new dies by Newton's Nook Designs and this was just released last month. 
and I die cut those leaves with patterned paper and green cardstock and I just have the image there in the front I didn't adhere it yet I was just trying to figure out where I wanted the leaves to go I'm going to use my liquid glue to adhere the die cuts on my card front here and then I am going to use my 3M scotch foam tape to adhere my cute coffee image on the front of my card and then eventually I'm also going to use fun foam just to put more dimension to the decorative portion of my card. Now I'm going to use this 6x6 six six paper pad by Lawn Fawn. I was just trying to figure out here if I wanted to use the blue or the brown and eventually I used the brown one because it just screams fall to me. And I have some craft card stock here for my card base and I this was just cut at 4 and a quarter by 11 and then scored in half. And then to get rid of this white sort of border on my pattern paper here. I'm just using my memento ink to just color that white portion of that pattern paper so that it's not too distracting. And then I'm going to use my tape runner here by Siron, one of my favorite adhesives because as I said, you can still lift your project if you made a mistake and you're not going to really damage your card stock or your pattern paper. I have my fun foam here that I will cut with my scissors and then I am going to adhere that to my card front using my Siron adhesive. Now I have die cut this thankful for you script die also from Cat Scrappiness using a blue cardstock and I think it's just perfect because it matches the blue color on my coffee cup and I will adhere that with my liquid glue and then just because this die cut is so intricate I am going to cut that so that I can adhere the for you word at the bottom of my card. And then I'm going to adhere some sequins to my card here to finish the design using my liquid glue again on my crystal katana. This is my favorite 4mm sparkling clear solid confetti dies by Cat Scrappiness. It just adds this really nice detail to your card. And that would be it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and if you liked the video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Please don't forget to use the coupon code COFFEEHOP for 15% off your order. It's only valid during the duration of the Coffee Lovers Blog Hop. So take advantage and order your favorite dice and sequins from catscrappiness.com. So thank you again for joining me and I'll see you on my next video. Bye for now. Happy crafting!